What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, as you can see, we're already getting started on the paint and body. Or, well, I already did the body. We're getting started on the paint because I am kind of on a time crunch now because the weather decided to take kind of a change. So, um, I already got the front bumper shot with the first two coats, headlight covers two coats, finish panel two coats, but there's a little bit of an issue already. Hella, hella orange peel. And that's because it temperature uh, dropped quite a bit since I started painting. I, it was literally like bright and sunny a little bit ago, and now all of a sudden it's partly cloudy, kind of cloudy, I don't know. You guys take a look at it. And temperature dropped quite a bit. But not to fear, I mean, that just means more work, wet sanding and stuff, but the color, absolutely gorgeous, love it. Like I said, crazy orange peel. Uh, it actually kind of went away the more the coat dried. Um, I, I just shot those coats, so it's extra peely right now. But another issue that I found is this gun that I'm using is old, and I guess I didn't clean it out all the way last time I used it, and I use it for clear. And there's little teensy flakes of clear coat somewhere stuck in the gun. So um, I'm getting little specks of just crap. I don't know what else to call it. So I'm gonna actually stop shooting it now well, I have a little bit left in the gun, so I might thicken it up where the specs are really bad. And then tomorrow, when I go to shoot the other car, I'm going to have to end up wet sanding it a little bit, try and get those things out, go buy another gun because they're cheap, and then wet sand those poops out, and then reshoot it, uh, or keep layering it up. Because the, the finish panel, I don't care, two coats, three coats, whatever is good. Headlight covers, uh, two heavy coats is good. The front bumper, I want to put a little bit extra because it is the front bumper. It is going to take quite a bit. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the color. I think it's gonna look good. The car is looking good. Hood is pretty much fantastic now. I'm sure there's stuff that I missed, but overall the body work on this thing came out pretty good. Not too shabby for somebody that just does not have patience for this. Only other thing I plan on doing to the car is it's sanded up to like 400 right now. I'm gonna give it a wet sand with four or six I have. Yeah, wet sand 600 because then it's like a 12 or a thousand. Uh, and that should be good because the car is already pretty smooth as is. I just need to wash it because it's still got powder and stuff on it. But yeah, this color is actually pretty darn sweet. I know it's hard to tell because all the orange people, orange peel. So look past the orange peel. Let me try and get some of that in there. There you go. There's some of that color. Looks gorgeous, eh? Not bad for a single stage. Yeah, look at that. Look at that shine under the orange peel. No need to go throwing hate in the comments if you're new to the channel or just passing by. You're like, oh, there's so much orange peel. You're retarded. Painting when it's chilly. I'm painting outside in the first place. Blah, blah. Get used to it. Most of the people out here rocking the rattle campaign jobs as is. So I'm trying to encourage some people to get out here and try it with a Harbor Freight setup, which is all I'm doing. You know what? My Integra, if you guys remember, uh, the Integra is actually a single stage Captiva Blue Pearl. And that's just wet sanded. Looks pretty mint after it's been wet sanded. Granted, it's very, very dirty. But there's hope. Trust me, there is hope for that paint. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shoot this last coat really quick and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when we get this car back there for its turn. Bring us into the next day. Okay, on the topic of the orange peel, the orange peel is still there, but it is far less, far less noticeable. Um, after it cured for a while, let me see if I can get it in here. After it cured for a while, it leveled out quite a bit. So I still want that really glossy finish. So I do still plan on wet sanding and polishing, I think. But uh, like I said, we're on to the next day. Got the car masked off last night, and we're good to go. This is the best I could do for a paint booth at the moment. But uh, yeah, car's all masked off, engine, roof, windows, all that jazz. Car's been wet sanded with like 600 grit. Just gotta give it a quick wipe down uh, with the wax and grease remover. Bumper's already shot, but I wanted to do like one or two more coats because it is the front bumper. It's only got two coats on it. Um, yeah, I want like three or four to, so it's like really thick so rock chips and stuff aren't as uh, detrimental to it. Uh, I got the hood hung up here because I've learned over the times of painting cars, painting the hoods flat is very difficult. It doesn't like to, I don't know, it just lays weird. So I find it's best to hang it up like this. So that's what we're going to do. As for the rest of the car, is what it is. We got what we got going on here. I just need to put a bag in the tail light hole here. Uh, wheels are covered, everything else is good, so I'm going to give this a quick wipe down with wax and grease remover, get all the dust, paw prints off of it, whatever, and then we'll come in here with a tack rag right before I shoot it, give it a quick wipe down from there, and then we'll 
we'll lay the base coat or well i guess the paint because it's single stage but yeah we'll shoot it we'll lay it down we'll make it look mint or at least as mint as a hundred dollar paint job will get us wax and grease remove the whole car the hood the front bumper i'm going to take the tack rag to it if you don't know what a tack rag is it's basically like I mean, it, this is what it is, but I, I don't know exactly what it's made out of, but it's really soft, but it's really sticky, like staticky or something. I don't know, but it pulls all the dust and all the contaminants, like debris, like physical stuff that you can feel. It'll pull that all off. So right before I shoot, I'll wipe it really, cl really quick with the uh, tack rag, and then it'll take off any dust particles that may be floating around on it. Uh, engine's moved out of the way. Shouldn't have to move the Integra. Should be fine where it is because I got this up. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's gonna get much warmer. It's pretty warm as it is around 70 78 ish degrees, so I think this should be pretty much as good as I'm gonna get for the day So I think I'm basically ready to shoot probably gonna start with the front bumper since it's back there um, And then move on to the hood I'm gonna try and have somebody or try and get some angles in there to film It's really hard to film because I don't want to put that in there with all the overspray getting on my camera you know how it is. Stuff, camera stuff ain't cheap. I don't want it ruined. Did pick up a fresh uh, Harbor Freight gun though. Had a coupon, so it was 10 bucks. Um, I always go through and clean these things with like brake cleaner, and then I shoot mineral spirits through it to get my spray pattern and stuff. That way I make sure it's extra clean and don't have any debris in there. And it pretty much works really well using the brake cleaner. Just disassemble the gun, get all that assembly lewd stuff out of there, because if you don't clean it, it's gonna look like absolute garbage, because you're gonna have chunks and crap just limiting your atomization and yeah, it's gonna be nasty like I said just some normal mineral spirits Pull right in, and then you can adjust your fan, uh, your pressure, and all that jazz. So,
All right, well, the base coat is laid. It actually laid pretty well. Um, definitely the last issue with the bumper and the other panel, which the other panel turned out fine, but the issue was the gun. Uh, it was pretty clogged, but this new gun, much, much better. So uh, it does look a bit orange peeled right now, but again, like I said, once this stuff starts curing a bit more, it like levels out. So that's what is pretty neat about this summer racing paint. Overall, this color, really dope. And I think it's really close to uh, the factory color that the car was. It has more of a purple tinge to it, whereas the factory color had more of a green tinge to it. Let me get you some sunlight here. But yeah, it looks really, really nice. I love it. So hopefully whoever buys the car will enjoy it too. So the bumper got like five heavy coats, so I have plenty to work with. I'm gonna definitely polish the whole car. The whole body got like four heavy coats. The hood, yeah, the hood is so destroyed. I I did so I spent two days working on this thing, and there's still a million more dents all over it, and you can definitely see them. Like there's no hiding that but gotta work with what you got. Um, I did what I thought was my best, but <laughs> I don't know, Th that hood's just trash, so forget it. We'll just use it anyway, but yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the rest of this laid pretty darn nice. Like I said, bit of orange peel, no big deal. Nothing a wet sand and a buff can't fix. I even did the inside of the fenders right here because a lot of people yelled at me a while ago when I painted my Integra and I forgot to paint the inside of the fenders, but all is well. This thing is just gonna sit out here and cure for, I don't know, probably the rest of the day. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I don't wanna touch anything. I don't wanna unmask anything. I don't wanna stir up any dust more than already has been. So we're just gonna leave it as is and we'll come back to this later. Main thing that I'm trying to tell you guys is that you can make a budget set of work. Harbor Freight Gun, Summit Racing, $100 single stage paint and then a little bit of buffing and wet setting at the end and this thing's gonna look pretty much mint. Car's been painted for two days now. Um, yesterday was a rainy day. First full rainy day we've had in Arizona. I think this entire year has been a dry year, but uh, I gotta get this thing off the jack stands and I gotta get it out here because I gotta start reassembling it. And then I was gonna take the wheels off, just you know, just jack it up more out here so I have room to work. Uh, take the wheels off and start stripping the paint off of those. Uh, but while I was out, since I couldn't do any work yesterday because of the weather, I did go out in the other Miata, drove up north a bit, shot, shot some photos, got some cool clips, and had some fun sliding around a little bit. So while I'm moving this car out here, enjoy those clips.
Look at how good this thing looks. I mean, I still gotta buy the turn signal, gotta find one, uh, so I don't have to buy the pair. But other than that, and the purple wheels, like I said, about to paint those. Look at this. Can't wait to buff and wet, or wet sand and buff this, or buff polish, whatever you wanna call it, it's all the same crap. Because this is gonna look fantastic when it's all done. Car looks so good on its own. I'm definitely gonna polish the taillights. I had to wet sand these. Uh, I just had a thousand grit wet sand. I am gonna buff and polish the whole tail light. I just, it had a lot of overspray uh, primer here, so I just wet sanded, then I wet sanded that off really quick so that way it didn't look totally trash. This tail light I should replace, but I'm not gonna bother. I am gonna polish it to the best of my ability. Um, I just don't wanna spend money on something that I'm not gonna see a return investment on with this car. So this thing is looking so, so much better than it did, what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago? So I don't know if I had mentioned it in the last video, but as for this stuff, I am gonna just plastic dip this stuff because it looks so much better. This whole thing can be replaced, but again, not gonna see the return out of it, not gonna replace it. So plastic dip all the way around because I did it all on my car and it looks amazing. And then as for the soft top, they sell, you can get duplicolor, they sell um, this vinyl and fabric soft top type stuff that, in a can. You just mask it off, you just paint it like you're spray painting a car or something, and it refreshes the top. Because this thing, I have cleaned it, it's just like stained with the sins of animals and cats uh, that walked all over it. But uh, it looks great. Really have no complaints. So the wheels, uh, I don't know that I'm going to make a full video on that because it's just paint and wheels, nothing crazy. I might throw a little bit in of it in, into the next vlog, but I think I'm going to end this video off here on a good note that the car is looking pretty amazing for what it is and for the money spent. Keep in mind though, this, like I said, $100 paint job, not even $100. I had to, I had to buy a stupid keychain just to get the $100 so I got my free shipping. Um, so $94 for the paint and the activator. And then, I don't know, I already had half the sandpaper, so probably 15 bucks in sandpaper and a can of primer and then a can of Bondo. So what, $130 paint job, really cannot complain. I am stoked, and like I said, once this thing's cut and polished, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, it's so ugly. Um, you guys just, if you guys are saying that's because you don't know that it, apparently you don't know the outcome. Like you can't, you can make the outcome so much better. Again, just go look at my Integra videos. That thing was orange peeled just as bad, if not worse than this. And now it looks pretty mint, especially being single stage and like a year and a half old. So I'm gonna make this thing look the part uh, mostly because it doesn't cost me any money to just polish it just a couple bucks for some pads or whatever So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below And uh, you know if you guys maybe would have done a different color or something uh, Let me know what you would have done because like I said I just want to kind of kind of keep it close to the color that was already on the car which Decently close. I mean green tinge blue tinge purplish tinge whatever Close ish enough. I'm stoked on it. Uh, anyways guys uh, Pick up shirts big cartel stickers be sure to uh, yeah, leave a like on the video. Anyways, guys, do what you love. Forget the rest, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.